Thanks so guys. I've already checked the margin of these and how level of plumb the wall is, so I know that it's heavier at the bottom and tight at the top. So when I'm putting my stuff on, I won't be going as just as heavy here at the top. And you don't have to, you can nest fit, you can do it like that. You can put beads on, I guess, fine, but I want to give the whole corner a coat. Sometimes it'd be, be cooked the wrong way. So I uh, have all the gear on. Don't mess about these walls, I think they're a bit old. So not old, but a bit dry. So I have a bean clip. I'm just gently off it up. Don't want to push too hard, just want to get it bailed for now. I know it's going to be painted from top of the bottom, so what I do is just clean it. Clean off that bit. Oh yeah. Clean off that excess for now. And then I know this is the plum, yes. But what I want to get is my margin first. A wee bit needs to be wee hair at the top. So we're trying to go five inches on the seal. I don't know if I can get five inches on that side as well. Five inches that way. Just trying to make sure. Okay. So I've got it reasonably margined up there. So this this piece nearly set. Just want to check it again with the level. And sitting. Just needs to end the wheat part at the bottom. That's good. And then check this side. You can also sort of add off that if you know that that's plumb, which it is. So add it off will give you a good idea of where you are. Well, use my level here. I know what these in at the bottom. Perfect. So as soon as you get it, chop it in. Can't move, chop it. If, if your level's not big enough, check up and down the way. Perfect. And then one final check the other way, guys. Perfect. All you really need to do next is just wash your bead. Make sure you give it a wee wash with a brush. Well, that's how you set a bead. I'll throw these other two on quickly and show you them too. So, like I was saying, wash the bead after you just get them set, guys. We quick demonstration. And if you give it a, a bit of a brush like that, you'll leave an excellent key as well for the float coat, the sand cement, or bonding or hard wall, whatever, whatever your undercoat material is you're going to use. And bonding's fine for this, it's an interior wall, it doesn't lead outside, I'm not afraid of any damp issues here whatsoever. So, rinse and repeat here, I have to do the other side here, I'm going to do this full door. And again, nice, nice sort of body on my bonding, gives me good, you know, a good bit of body will really hold that bead on well and it won't move. Um, another thing is, guys, after you do set it all, you're, you're as well just checking everything just just quickly as bonding does tend to swell a wee bit as it sets, so you, you may be better just giving it all a wee quick look. And just coating that head there. You do have that head pva as well, although there's quite a bit of grip on the bottom quite a lot of key on it but yeah that'll help
stick the top bead on when I come to that. And I'm gonna, like I say, I'm gonna fit this whole thing here. Just give you a run around and a wee quick look at, at it all. So again, crimping the beads. Sometimes if them beads curl the wrong way, you'll have a real nightmare when it comes to floating. And then if you don't catch it then, it's gonna be horrific when you come to skim. You're gonna have, basically you'll have to rule the wall or stick skimming beads on or something to rectify the, the mistake. And again guys, you can see I'm not pressing too hard. Really, you just want to just set the bead on just gently. If you press too hard and you go too far in, sometimes you just create more headaches for yourself trying to pull it out and sometimes the button falls and then you have to put the button back in behind it and stuff or pull the whole bead off and start again. So take my advice and just gently set the thing on. Again, just getting it there at five inches. That, that is the margin for this door, five inch right around. Um, and the reason for that is it leaves a nice coat on the face, on the surface here, on the big wall. A nice coat, obviously, on the reveals. And I know I can allow five inches the whole way around the whole door, and it'll be all nice and even. It's what we call margin. It'll be margined. So now I'm going to check it here for plumb and make sure it's all nice and straight and level. So what you're doing when you're when you are putting your level up like this, guys, is you want to make sure one you get it level. And you want to make sure the beads actually touching the level as well. If it's not touching, you're going to have a dip. And you don't want that. And again, these are things you'll get with experience. You know, if you do have an old hooked bead or something, you tend to not even notice them sometimes until you skim the reveal. And then, and then all the problems occur later on. But yeah, if you take your time, it's not going to be a big, big issue. And I always pre-cut my beads before I mix. And the problem is with that is you tend to have to trim one or two. As you can see, I have to just take a little bit off this head bead just to make it fit. And can be quite tricky using the Spear and Jackson snips here. Quite big long ones, so I tend to cut through these things pretty, pretty good. And I miter my beads as well. I'm showing you that up close, guys, because... Some people measure them the other way and stuff, which is, is, is brilliant, it's great. But the reason I measure them that way is because they'll never curl out and hook out and hinder your floating or your skimming. I do it with my skimming beads as well. Um, just just find it the, the best way to go. And that fits perfect. Always check it before you start trying to coat out your whole corner. Otherwise, that corner material is starting to dry in and set and it will, it'll cause you a bit, of, a bit of hindrance later on. And I'm a wee bit slight out of the, the angle for you here, but I'll still, I'll, I'll keep with it here and let you know what I'm doing basically, so you just know what way it's going. But as I have the two left and right sides of the reveal set, the head is, it's, it is pretty easy because you're going from side to side. You've done all the hard work on them too. So you're just really lining up the two joints and making sure that they're just nice and flush and this one I'm able to press a wee bit harder because I know where I'm pressing it too and again it's still important to check your margin guys because the middle could be wrong so the middle is very important to check and I'm very pleased with myself something's going well and now I've lost my little level again Pretty important to just check and make sure it is level because you never know the head could be off you might want to run with the head if it is off and again perfect so any adjustments guys make them all now and the stuff still there's a, a bit of a better look at the door now apologies guys i wasted a wee bit of footage for you there but yeah just another quick double check and again still delighted um, hopefully when these are setting beads comes in just need to trial that in and trial the bottom a wee bit and then we can wash everything up again guys this is excellent key for the next coat this head underneath can just be skimmed there's no call to have to float that out as i have bonded it all fully so nice wee coat of bottom make sure you wash 
your frames with nice clean water guys and that'll help you when it comes to floating and skimming if you leave the, the, the frames dirty and the beads dirty it's you're not going to have a clean tidy job at the end and you're going to really stroll to get a good finish and a nice sharp corner but that's how it's done guys how are you set floating beads